Hello, it's Simone. Today I'm here with the Coco Daisy November Planner Kits Unboxing and I will just dive in and start. Um, but I don't know where, so let's just look through this in a second. Let's go through the little bits here first and then open this. So, every month there is a notepad. This month there is a grid in the background and I really like having some guidance on the page so I really appreciate it. The November kits have succulents as their main topic and so you will find succulents everywhere. And this is the notepad and then we have the puffy clip toppers or puffy stickers as they are titled here on this page. There is three of them in here and you can also have, um, there's also some puffy hearts in the background. And I just want to say that there is construction noises outside of my window, but I want to dive into my kits and need to film this now. So we'll just have to see how it works. And I'll show you one. And I'll also show you something that the way I use used my puffy clip toppers last month so you can see if you are not a clip person what you could do with them as well so you take the clip that is included in the package and you take the puffy sticker you loop it through and then you just stick align the sticker and then you press really firmly down on the sticker so that both sides attach and then you have a clip this with my puffy clip toppers from last month so you can actually I used whatever was we received in other kits so these I didn't buy anything for this I just took apart another charm and then used those for those puffy stickers as a charm for my planner then we have sticky notes these are succu is a succulent and again I'll just take it out and show you the trick that I learned from another person on the Coco Daisy Planner fans group. If you take the sticky note off like this it will curl and it won't stick very well. If you take the sticky note off from the side and peel it off very slowly then your sticky note will stick much better. So this is upside down. This is actually how it's supposed to stick. Okay, so I showed you this. This is the exclusive washi tape for November that is in the planner kit. There's also an exclusive washi tape in the planner add-on kit, but this one is the one for, no, for the planner kit. And this is what it looks like on paper. So it has the pattern repeats after those two colors. Okay, washi tape, all done. And then we have this clip, which is from Peony's Papery. And this is a clip that I have seen a lot on social media before, but I have never actually owned one myself. This is a binder clip. And you can clip this onto your insert and then use a pen and just attach it like that. And then you have a pen loop on your insert and not on your planner. So last month Coco Daisy started to add a uh, a picture of all the die cuts that come in the die cut package onto the back of their page of the packaging and this is something I really love and appreciate. So this is still the planner kit. We have the sticker sheets. There is the tab 
stickers. You can, they fit onto those tabs. You have budget, tracker, travel plans, notes, daily to do, hello November, month at a glance, meal plan, November goals, exercise tracker, and gratitude journal. And then we have a just pretty sticker sheet with succulents and you could actually combine them into those pots. We then have the functional sticker sheet which has the days, dates, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and those arrows fit right into those flags here. This one fits right here onto the front of the Daisy Dory like this. And then we have this large pretty sticker sheet. Let's let's stick it with that. So it's November. There's a label, weekend mode activated, house guests. You have those circle stickers. There's more tabs, as uh, stickers. There is banners and or flags and arrows, family time, run errands, go shopping. There's the circle sticker that you can use as weekend sticker. Then you have whole reinforcers. I make bed head look good. Leftovers, restaurant night, and then there's a tracker labels. There's a remember tag and allo there. Okay, I have to think about this. Does it mean hello there? Okay. <laughs> it's like when you read it and then you don't really know what it means, it's like, mm, maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. There's arrows, uh, stars and hearts, a circle sticker with a succulent that says everything is perfect, fall back. That's for uh, when we reset the time. Thanksgiving in the United States. And then just two arrows that are don't don't have anything on them except for pattern. Let's look at the pattern papers next. There is six pieces of pattern papers. They are printed and double-sided so you will end up with two patterns. Here, let's have a closer look. So this one, plants with this one this one and this one and the succulents so this is the planner kit and now let's have a look at the daisy dory for November this is the standard size there is the calendar overview on the first page there is a lined page on the second then there is um, a blank page with design on the third and then you have the grid section pages and there's always enough sections so that you can make all the weeks in the month meaning you have one two three four five weeks so you will have at least five of those spreads so you can make all of those weeks and then we have uh, blank pages oh, let's just look at them a little bit keep going keep growing More design and blank page. Oh, I love this one. This is really pretty. I love those colors. They are so, so beautiful. And I have heard a lot of people say that they don't think this goes with November. They would have liked to see a more themed kit. Um, I don't feel that way. I don't really care what theme a kit is. I really. I'm drawn to the colors that's make that makes me very happy and I'll just go with whatever <laughs> Coco Daisy sends me because it's just it's always beautiful so I never since I live in California I don't have snow I don't have all of those things where I am so I don't really need a very themed November kit be it ever so humble there is no place like home I hate the construction here so there this is really nice too there's a strip on the side and then you have all of those plans on this side and then there is a good laugh and a long sleep are the two best cures for anything and there's a Simon bunny if you know about the Coco Daisy Simon the bunny uh, he is hidden in all of the inserts once 
there's one Simon in each of the inserts. I haven't looked for him yet. I haven't found him yet. But if you are looking for him, you have to go and search for yourself. Then there is another section, same as before. This one is with grid. This one is with blank pages. You can use this for whatever you want to. You can use, set it up for two, uh, twice November. You could, um, well, I use them as daily pages, so I don't really take care of any or take into consideration what this is. I just, each page is one day for me. And those are, again, enough to make week, as many weekly spreads as you will need in the month of November. And... Then there is one more blank page which says today I choose and then there is the back page and then the book is done. Live simply, love generously and learn constantly. So that is the planner kit for November. All right, let's move on to the planner add-on kit. Here is all the content spread out. I'll start with the washi tape. So this is what it looks like and when I can find the start, I will then be able to show you what it looks like when it's put on paper. So this is the washi tape, the exclusive one. There is a pen included. We have received those kinds of pens in kits before and I really love how they write. So this is pen from add on kit so I'm really happy about that and then we have the another set of sticky notes and the cool thing about those is that you can actually combine those like that and then you have two sticky notes or you could no you couldn't but no but you could put them on here and then have succulent sticky notes just like this I really love that idea. And then we have a stamp set. Let's stay home and snuggle. Keep going, keep growing. More succulents, a llama. More succulents, can't touch this. And some, I really love those for adding some dimension. And like with subtle stamp inks, you can add um, some background. To your planner pages if you ever feel the need to do this because as I always say there is so much uh, already going on on the Coco Daisy planner pages that you wouldn't even need to add anything else and then we have die cuts are the die cuts. I'll just move them out of the way so we can have a look at this. This is a beautiful felt clip from Planning Zen and if you are a member of the Coco Daisy Planner fans group there is an idea from Trisha uh, on or on her Instagram as well how you can repurpose this packaging. So this is an amazing, oh, this is so pretty. It's a pretty felt clip. This is what it looks like. Very well made from Planning Zen. Put this here. And then let's have a look in the back. And there is some things that always come in the kit, which are Two three by four journaling cards. This one says, "Introverts unite. We are here. We are uncomfortable, and we want to go home. Don't let yesterday use up too much of today." And then this one says, simply says, "Stay cozy." And then we have three sticker sheets. 
there is one that is a pretty, as I would probably say, a pretty sticker sheet with more succulents. They have sayings, bloom where you are planted, love grows here, looking sharp. I'm a sucker for planning. Then there is this quite functional sticker sheet. It has phrases on top. Then we have lots and lots, 14 of those flag, check mark flags. And then we have those functional stickers here, those circles, and then we have this. There's another set of numbers, weekdays, and an alphabet sticker set. So this is the planner add-on kit. Now let's have a look at the dashboards that came in the kit this month. This is uh, an additional subscription. You will receive two, two different sizes of dashboards. They are exactly the same designs. If you only use A5 pages or personal pages, those are easily used in the personal Daisy Dory or the mini Daisy Dory or even the standard Daisy Dory. And those you can cut down. You could actually use them to scrapbook with. You could use them to create cards. Some of them um, work really well as cards. And yeah, I love to cut those down to make dashboards for my standard Daisy Dory uh, or my standard Traveler's Notebook. Like this one, you can easily cut down. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if something of this is missing. Sometimes it's easy when you just cut down the center. And so I really uh, use lots of them. Or what you also could do is just split them with someone who uses those and you use those or the other way around. So let's have a quick look at those. These are the days we will remember. It's a wreath. There's just a plant, planter. Bless this mess. Change the way you look at things and the things you look at will change. Wayne Dwyer. Uh, this is my favorite November and this is comes in close on second place this this one so this is the dashboards now I purchased lots of different inserts this month only because I am trying to find out how I'm going to memory keep for 2018 and also how I'm going to plan and I'll just show you those two with the Daisy Dory in comparison quickly. So these are the different sizes. This is the personal mini standard. The personal Daisy Dory is exactly the same as the standard Daisy Dory. It's like the little baby brother. It has exactly the same features. There's three sections on the divided pages. It has the exact same number of pages and the exact same designs on the pages. So you have the calendar in the front and the mini Daisy Dory is a bit different. It doesn't have the uh, page, the calendar on the first page. It has the same setup in general. So you have the line page and the uh, blank page and then you have the grids, however, or the section pages with the grids. However, the uh, sections, there's only two sections. And there is also, here in the back, there's two sections. The page count for each of those is the same. So you have 36 pages in all three of them. And if you are unsure on how you could use this for planning, I highly suggest checking out Anna Feucht, Kaffee Can Anna on Instagram, and I will link her down in the description below. She does a fabulous job of planning in the Daisy Dory, and it really looks very doable in there. So, those are the Dories. So, these are the personal and the A5 planner pages. I get them both unpunched because I am using a dis discs for my pages. I don't really use them as planner pages. I usually use the uh, month on two pages as well as the daily pages for my project planning. So you have the um, cover with a tab it says November and then you have a month at a glance on the back. It's 
same on, for both. Then you have the weekly pages and there's always enough to have the week on one page for all of those weeks. As I said in the Daisy Dory, there's always enough to use them for all of the weeks in the months. So this, and there is a grid on the back, same here. And then we have the week on two pages, which looks like this. There's live simply, love generously, and learn constantly on the front, and it's a plain. Then we have the it's grid pages. It says week off, and there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday already printed. And then you have a grid on the back. Again, there's enough weekly pages so you can make use them for the whole month. Same here. And then we have a notes page and the month on two pages here. And this one says a house is made of bricks and stone but I love but love makes a house a home. So this is very <laughs> different so this is a lot smaller than this one and you could actually use those right in here and use them to decorate your month on two pages so next then there is this month year at a glance you could use this for pre-planning also seen this as a bucket list for the month Lots of different possibilities. And then there is a different in, difference in the daily to-do pages. Let's just flip this over and have a look. So the A5 pages has a lot more on top. So you have a grid on the left side. So this is meant to be one day like this. And you have here 15 minute pickup, meals, and then notes and ideas. Here you have color, email, and then notes and ideas. On the right side of the page, you have the schedule and the to-do list, and then a hydrate section. On the right side of the A5 pages, you have must do, color, email, to-do list, and the hydrate section, and the schedule. So this moves down here, and you have a little bit more sections. If you do not need those sections, if this is not how you would use this, you can just simply use whiteout and go over these and fill in your own sections that how you want them to use them. And there is in both pages, there is a whole lot of pages to use. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with me for such a long time and helping me getting through this very first video after my long video hiatus. I hope to see you in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.